Hello all you lovely people, as you know I'm Chef Bantolin and welcome back to another show of Cooking with Curd. Today we're going to make a really lovely vegetable pot pie. It's a great dish, something that people really, really love, comfort food, and it's vegetarian, so it's a little bit of a healthier pie, not so indulgent, you know, and it's a great way to reduce your carbon footprint. And the great thing about this dish is it's incredible, it's wonderful. You, you put it in the middle of a table and everyone will be very well chuffed, really impressed. They'll be like, wow, what's that? Looks amazing. So, let's get started. First of all, what we're going to do is... Pan on. Then melt a whole stick of butter over medium heat. Then add two sliced yellow onions. We're also going to add a bulb of fennel just to make a difference. And just finely slice it crosswise. The finer you slice it, the quicker they cook. Add them in, get those onions and fennel going. And that butter is really going to help bring out that sweetness from the fennel and the onions. And now just saute this until they're translucent for about 10 to 15 minutes. Then reduce it to low heat. Add in half a cup of all-purpose flour. And cook for three more minutes, stirring occasionally. Then slowly add in two and a half cups of vegetable stock. One and a half teaspoons of salt. Half a teaspoon of ground black pepper. And just a pinch of saffron, of course. What would I do without my saffron? Now, bring this to a boil and let it simmer for about five minutes, stirring occasionally, just to make sure it doesn't stick to the bottom. Right. Finally, we add three tablespoons of heavy cream. Stir it around. And that's what we're looking for. Pan off. Next, we boil lots of water in the kettle. We add plenty of salt to the water. And take one and a half cups of diced potatoes, that's about half a pound of potatoes. Add them in, and boil for about ten minutes. And how do you know if the potatoes are cooked? You just pour one out, stick a fork through it, and if it breaks up easily, it's done. Take the potatoes out of the water, set them aside. Now we're going to boil one and a half cups of asparagus, one and a half cups of diced carrots. By the way, I love carrots, they're brilliant. And finally, one and a half cups of diced butternut squash. Now when chopping the vegetables, you don't have to worry about any particular shape, just small bite-sized pieces. Like that. Put them all in there. There we go. And boil for about five minutes. Drain these out nice and well. Then add the potatoes, mixed vegetables, and one and a half cups of small frozen whole onions to the sauce we made earlier. We're also going to add some lovely chopped up parsley. About half a cup. It just adds a fresh and simple flavour with a quite sort of charm about it. And just carefully fold this into the sauce like that. Beautiful. And that's what we're looking for. Brilliant. Okay, so now, the pastry for the pie. Take a food processor fitted with a metal blade and add in three cups of all-purpose flour, one and a half teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon of baking powder, pulse it a couple of times to mix it up, Add half a cup of vegetable shortening and a stick of butter sliced up and pulse it about 10 times until the pieces of butter and shortening are the size of peas. With a motor running, add half a cup of ice cold water and stop it when the dough has started to come together. Put some flour on a clean surface, dump the dough onto it and knead it into a ball. And you have to do this really quickly because the dough has to remain cold. Wrap it up in plastic and refrigerate for 30 minutes. Preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit and now we put the pie together. So every household should have one of these. Nice and high Pyrex dish, nice and big. You can fit six to eight portions of food in here. Just carefully add the vegetable filling into the dish, like that. Then make an egg wash from one beaten egg in a tablespoon of water. Then we take the dough and roll it out so we can cover the dish with about half an inch extra in each side. Carefully roll the dough onto your pin and all I literally have to do is carefully unroll it over the dish. Now just crimp the dough to fold over the sides and just press it in to make it stick. Now glaze over with the egg wash, make three slits on top and I would just like to add a little salt and crackled pepper on top. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put it in the preheated oven for about 60 minutes at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Now it's done. Brilliant. Now let's have a look at this. Get that spoon under there. Got that wonderful crust with the lovely vegetables underneath. 
Amazing. Absolutely gorgeous. So there you go, a beautiful vegetable pot pie, all those lovely flavours, just a great dish, done.